Bolida is um, an audiovisual um, lexicon. We 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 pride ourselves in you know um, curating and making content, proudly South African content, uh, whether it's in the community or whether it's for the world. Uh, we purely just deal with uh, producing content. About a year and a half ago, um, you know, the feeling came about and I, I acted on it. The reason why was because I was I was really feeling like I needed a shift. Um, I needed something else to do. Um, and that was to sort of own what we do already in the industry. So I was I was employed, you know, um, <clears throat> by New Vision and previously uh, by Don't Look Down. And these companies are great in their own. Uh, they have great leaders, but I just felt like, you know, they they didn't they didn't have um, the vision I had, and so I saw a gap in in the market because these are big players in the game, mm. um, and so I just I just I waited it out, and I saw I said once once I get enough strength to leave, this will be my vision. No one else has seen it. No one else is going there. I'm going to be the one who goes there. So, yeah, um, I think that was the reason behind me leaving, mm. uh, the vision that I saw and the gap that I saw in the market. I have to say, it, in the first in the first couple of months, it was very honeymoony. Um, I I was I was being received so well, mm. um, you know, and not that it's changed, but. It was very unexpected. Um, you know, people championed me into sort of, you know, go for it, do it. Like, let's see you succeed. You can do it. You're the guy to actually do what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, and to do it this way, uh, I, I received a lot of support, actually. So um, I know a lot of people say it's very hard in the beginning and it's very difficult to necessarily navigate, um, you know, a startup. Um but I, I say honeymoon because, um, you know, like the first six months were great. Like I had great relationships. I knew that I was going to start this. So I almost uh, preempted some some decisions and some business um, decisions. And, um, you know, people were willing already to, to come on board. But those contracts come to end and you have to now build new relationships because you're no longer playing within that circle of people yeah. so you can't do something for them as much as they can do for you so now you have to sort of start asset managing your platform um, and I say platform because you know when you start a company it's an opportunity for others to either gain from learn from or you know uh, support you or whatever but when you start a company think of it as a platform and that's what I've come to think of. Um, so I've had to asset manage and make sure that my company is viable. It looks good. Mm. Um, it sounds great. Uh, you know, um, so it, having having learned that, having learned to, to necessarily um, learn how to do that has been quite difficult mm. uh, because you lose a lot of relationships on the way um, once you clear your vision. Um, certain people aren't necessarily within, you know, your mission statement. Your, your. I mean, when you write up your company profile, there, there are goals and there, there are things that you, you sort of um, um, live by, mm. and so um, those things guide the vision. And so certain people fall out, even if they are offering you, you know, what you want. But the vision isn't that mm. anymore because you're trying to go for the bigger ones. Do you know what I mean? So. Uh, it's been very difficult to, to, to necessarily get to that level, mm. um, but we're getting there, yeah. I'm not necessarily in the business of selling myself. I, do, I, don't, I don't like doing that. I, I like selling the work. I think the work, um, you know, sells the company. Um, so we will do passion projects. You know, uh, this last week I was just in Bramfontein. I hadn't been in Bramfontein for about two years on a Saturday. Um, and I only realized then, I was like, yo, I haven't been here in a while. But I had my camera on me. And so I just started walking around shooting. I came across, you know, um, 
groups of people and we shot a two minute video and that was it like that was it but it looks great mm -hmm. do you know what i mean and the quality of it is is amazing because when i got back to the office i was like you know this 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 has to be something there has to be something here so you know producing work for for money but producing work for um for just the sake of of the art is also how we necessarily sell our company i don't i don't i don't have a strategy when it comes to that i think mm. yeah i tell you now money handling is something that i i, I still need to do well like we're doing it but I, it's still something that i need to do well like like i'm at a point where i can forecast what the year is looking like which is brilliant yeah. and i can compare march to uh, march 2015 to march 2016 mm -hmm. and see where we are so i i mean that stuff i'm still learning but i know it's important because you know um just the other day i was looking at how um how last year i didn't know what the year was going to look like or what november was going to look like but i know what november is going to look like this year which is brilliant um that's what i struggled with what i'm still struggling with though um now is sort of sort of like getting taking myself seriously i think you know because i i i trade on talent i trade on uh something that's sort of like god given i never i never went to school for this at all wow. i never went to after i never went to a tertiary for this i literally have a matric and um you know like it's taking yourself seriously like taking yourself seriously and knowing that you know this very well and just as much as the other guy who has a degree probably more because you know i concentrate so much on what i do mm. that no guy with a degree or a doctorate or whatever can ever say listen this is what i have what do you have mm -hmm. i don't want that conversation to ever come up yeah do you know what i mean i have complexes around that stuff so so my biggest thing is taking myself seriously and making sure that you know i look back and i go actually you've done well in the last 8 years um you've got you've got some great shows under your belt mm. um as an employee um you've done well and as a businessman you're you're going to do well just in a year you sort of you know reach numbers that weren't even imaginable for a small business of this kind so i i need to take myself seriously um and i think as well what what i struggle with is you know um looking for support um i as a company as a small company you need support mm. um whether it's a mentor or whether it's somebody to just chat to in the evening after work or to consult and say listen i don't know what emne adam zanti magic or sbc one is doing right now but where should we be within their strategy how should we as a small company attract big corporations like that yeah. so for me those are the struggles do you know what i mean those mm -hmm. are the struggles because part of me and part of my job is to be a kid it's to be fully a kid and it's to to be to be very creative and to be very vulnerable as well and all these things and a lot goes on and then you have to take yourself seriously and then you have to look for support yeah. and then you have to do business strategies and company profiles and all these things all these things are done mm. but it's just at the end of the day the bottom line is once you've done all these things all the paperwork in the world for your company is to take yourself seriously yeah so that's what i struggle with